The triple bond triple between bond carbons, between carbons vibrates, vibrates around 2000, around 2000. so it requires a high amount of energy. Explore the movement further by pressing on the frequency line. We've just learned that single, double and triple bonds absorb and therefore vibrate. We've just learned that single, double and triple bonds absorb and therefore vibrate at different wavelengths. The vibrations are very specific, so take the time to lower the lab cap. We've just learned that single, double and triple bonds absorb and therefore vibrate at different wavelengths. We've just learned that single, double. I can see that we're doing great. Just as a recap, what is the main purpose when performing an infrared analysis? Exactly as you said, this Alright, let's go on, as hydrocarbons are, you might be wondering, click the highlighted gap on the spectrum where you think the hydrocarbons are, that's correct, good job. As promised, here's the complete, there's an area that we still haven't analyzed much. What are the peaks that usually appear in the fingerprint region? That's correct, the fingerprint region, before moving to the... Here's the main vibrations mode. From the six molecules vibrating you see in front of you, correct, this molecule is... You got it, this molecule... I can see your head. From the four vibrations you see in front of you, choose the two that you think are symmetric. That's correct, the movement of the... That's right, the movement of the atoms is exactly as you guessed, these two molecules are so As you did so well up to this point, can you help me figure out which one of these sentences is wrong? makes a lot of sense. The types of vibrations a molecule will undergo are dependent on its geometry. Now that you know everything about the different... Now, look at the three main peaks we have here and choose in the drop-downs the group you would assign to each one. You're doing great. Matching peaks in functional groups will become easier and easier the more you practice it. When completing this analysis, you'll have a clear idea. For our last activity, even though assigned... Nice! That is the correct answer. I'm really impressed, good job. The intensity of a peak is partially dependent on the dipole moment, but also on which other variable. That's not totally correct. This variable is common to most analytical techniques. Check out the theory pages if you need more information. That's not totally correct. This very... Just as you guessed, the concentration of molecules in the sample has a strong impact on the intensity of the peaks. For this reason, researchers often look into literature to find the optimal concentration of the compound they want to analyze. It seems I have nothing left to teach you. Now that you're a master of the info... Let me ask you one last question. Thank you for your feedback. Your score has been saved together with your 100% progress. Congratulations, you have completed the simulation. We hope you enjoyed it and you feel wiser now.